Hey, it's John Barney coming to you from the Badlanders channel. Why Badlanders? Because Broken Wings Club was taken. My boys and I have been into uh, remote control airplanes, helicopters lately. And we decided we wanted to start a YouTube channel with video clips and reviews of the planes and helicopters that we fly. And so we decided to call it the Broken Wings Club because the cost of entry into our club was at least one crash with a broken wing, which all of us have accomplished now uh, multiple times, some of us uh, four or five times. But unfortunately, there's already a book, Broken Wings Club somewhere back east, I think Pennsylvania or something. So we decided to go with our second option, uh, Badlanders, which my 11-year-old son came up with. Great idea. So here we are, first video entry on the Badlanders YouTube channel. This is the maiden flight of my E-Flight Mini Pulse XT, a model that's been around since about 2006 from what I can gather reading online. And um, it's my first Balsa model. It's kind of a step up from all of the other foam planes that I've been flying. I found it on the top shelf of a local hobby shop, kind of dusty, sitting in the back of a few other models. and. Uh, saw it and just thought, well, that looks like a pretty cool plane. I think i got to have that. So I read online just to uh, see how to set the thing up and what equipment to put in it and ended up going with a Park 480 with an 11 by 7 prop. It sounded like it would make for a more powerful, powerful flight and uh, make it a little more aerobatic. I also read online that if you're taking off and landing on grass, that you should definitely dump the wheel pants. So I did that. I swapped out the wheel pants and the stock wheels, in fact, for some Dubrow low bounce wheels. And you're about to see my first landing here. It uh, glided a lot further than what I had planned on, obviously, and it went clear um, beyond the grass over the sidewalk and luckily landed on the parking lot uh, completely blind. I didn't see it come down at all. Kind of ran over, picked it up, took a look, uh, everything looks good. So I was super lucky on the first landing there. I pulled a 40 amp speed control out of um, one of my previously mentioned Broken Wings Club uh, initiation planes, a fly zone beaver that I crashed big time, um, tip stall, spun in. Anyway, that's for a different video. So here I go on my second takeoff and uh, kind of get things trimmed out a little bit in between, in between the clips. And I should mention that I do have this setup on a dual aileron servo setup because I wanted to set it up with flapperons. Um, I'd read also online, obviously, um, from that first landing that the thing tends to glide forever on landing and anything you can do to slow it down to land a little sooner is helpful. So I set it up with dual ailerons, flapperons. I'm kind of trying them out here, trying to get them trimmed out. It makes it a little trick here to uh, trim out the, uh, the ailerons. And so I'm kind of struggling with that. Um, needed lots of trim. It turned, uh, you saw from the first takeoff, it, it took off to the right there quite a bit. I had to hold it uh, up and to the left to keep it flying. And trim that out between the first and the second flight. So for the setup on my Spectrum DX8, I've got one aileron going into the regular aileron channel, then the other one going into the auxiliary channel on um, my Orange RX R615 receiver. Um, it's pretty easy to set it up in, in uh, the digital controls of, of the radio itself. You set up the wing type for dual aileron, and then you've got a left aileron and a right aileron. Just know that when you're trimming out this configuration, if you do the external trim with the, with the switches on the surface of the radio, you're going to be trimming both the ailerons. And then when you get into sub-trim, you've got separate sub-trim settings. So it does make it a little tricky, uh, which is why I said I was struggling a bit with it. A little more on the landing here. You just saw my third landing with a pretty good nose over right there at the end. And um, taking the wheel pants off obviously helped on the takeoffs, but on the landings with those Dubrow low bounce, uh, it still noses over almost every single time. Um, landing on the pavement isn't an issue, but on the grass, um, 
those wheels especially are a little bit grabby. So after this maiden flight, I did a little more research and figured that if I went with some taller wheels, that it would uh, reduce the nose overs. So take a look at my next video. I'll show you uh, the landing gear modification that I did. I actually added some springs to the landing gear system. They're in place on this flight, but it doesn't show them very well. And also added uh, some three inch Dupro lightweight sport wheels, which uh, helped a lot with the rollout on the landings. Just a little something about the camera system that I used to film this video. Uh, it was done completely on a Mobius camera, which is a tiny, uh, previously like a keychain type camera, but now they've made it so that it's uh, a standalone camera. It's 1080p uh, video, very compact. I've got it on a kind of a hat clip. And it happens to fit perfectly right on the antenna of my radio. So that's why sometimes you see the, the plane out of frame. Uh, it's a little bit hard to follow, not knowing exactly where the frame falls. But the video quality is really very good. Uh, got some other videos where I strapped it on top of a, a Hobby Zone Wilga. I'll get to those at a later time. But uh, yeah, that's the video setup. So back to the Mini Pulse XT. I really love this plane. It flies like it's on rails. Um, I know you've heard it a lot of times. I've told my buddies at work that um, it drives like a like a Ferrari <laughs> comparison to a Yugo. Um, it's a big step up for me. I'm liking it a lot. It can be very fast, wide open throttle. Um, and then you've seen in the video flying around really slow with the flapper arms halfway down. Um, it can fly very slow as well. I wanted to give a shout out to the guys over at Flight Test. They were kind of the impetus for this whole Badlanders thing. Josh and Josh, you them in. So I hope you liked my first YouTube Badlanders channel video attempt. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know if you've got this plane. I'd like to hear what you've, uh, how you've got it set up. So bye for now. This is John with Badlanders, where bad landings are a good time.